Hey, everyone, Dawson here in the Mercury Division of First in Texas here with 1477 Texas Torque, winners of the San Antonio District event. We're really amazing robot with a pivoted robot system, pivoted intake, really unique, and a special trap mechanism as well. I'm really excited to get down here, here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. John, I want to start off with you talking about your intake. It seems like you guys have an over the bumper intake. What was the idea behind that and why did you guys decide to do that? Yes, of course. So early on this, the beginning of the season, when we found out that we had to intake these notes from the ground, we knew that we wanted to have a full width um, intake and have the touch and go intake where we'd be able to quickly intake the note and put it in some sort of magazine or a shooter system, which we hadn't come up with. And when, as we started prototyping our intake, we realized that a front two front compliant wheel rollers were the best way to shoot the note right over a bumper. And we also experimented with under the bumper and different styles of intakes. But we realized that with the packaging that we wanted to do for this season, that a over the bumper intake was gonna be the best way. So getting into our intake and how that works, we have a three roller intake, these two front rollers, this, when the note touches this bottom roller, the note is pushed up a little bit and engages with the top front rollers, which pushes pushes the note right over the bumper. And as it hits the versa roller here, it goes right into our shooter. So Nick, do you want to run the robot? As you guys can see, the note goes over the... It, spends about a split second in our intake subsystem as it makes its way over to the shooter. Now, perfect transition into the shooter. Sophia, talk to me about your shooter mechanism. It seems like it just goes straight into your shooter and then just goes down and then shoots. Talk to me more about it. Yeah, so this season we decided to go with a pivoting shooter because we knew that we were gonna wanna shoot from both sides of our robot in order to make our autonomous a lot easier. Um, so we have uh, a shooter on a chain pivot over here. Uh, which is powered by a Max Planetary, and we feed from the front, which is different than most other teams, because uh, we weren't really sure how we wanted to feed into our shooter at the beginning of the season, and we found that if we have gate wheels at the back of our shooter, right down here, we're able to hold the note inside um, inside of our system whenever until we're ready to shoot, and our flywheels can rev up independently from it. Now, it seems like you guys have a special amp mechanism right here. Talk to me more about that. Yeah, so this year, uh, at the beginning of the season, we thought that we had uh, an amp mechanism uh, we based our geometry off the amp because we figured out the best angle to shoot from and we built our shooter around that but then we realized that the variation between the, the, the hardness of the notes um, made it so that our set point didn't work. So we came up with this amp ramp where we shoot the piece straight up and it falls onto the ramp and into the amp. If we could demonstrate that for the camera real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we've been able to successfully uh, slide our notes right into the amp. Now you guys also have a special trap mechanism. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so uh, since our climber is able to pull us so uh, super low, uh, as Anish is gonna talk to us about later, we're only 20 inches away from the opening of the trap. So we have a hook mechanism uh, that we're gonna demonstrate real quick that's powered by surgical tubing and, and held in by a pin until we're ready to climb. <laughs> And then from there on, it just climbs? Yeah, from, then, from there on, our uh, shooter goes to its set point and we're able to shoot and hit the top of the trap and go straight in. Now talking about trap and climbing, let's hand it off to Anish. Talk to me about your climbing mechanism. Seems like you guys have a tube stock, two tube stocks and just goes from there. How does that work? Yeah, so at the start of the season, uh, we wanted the ability to trap. Uh, so with this design, we just uh, went with a telescoping tube with a slit down the center so that the hooks can go all the way to the bottom of the drive base. This will give us the ability to go as high as possible on the chain and uh, give us the high advantage in scoring the trap as easy as possible. Can we demonstrate the climb? Oh.
One thing to note is, unlike other climbs, our climb is powered by uh, a max planetary in the back with a 90 degree. And also, instead of bearings, it is it uses linear bushings uh, that slide along the insides of the tube and allows it to uh, go up and down uh, smoothly. Now, I want to hand it off to Omar. Talk to me about the vision system that you guys have. It seems like you guys have some special cameras. Tell me more about it. Yeah, sure. So this year, we're actually running a custom vision solution that is running a Python script that handles the April tags. So that is running right here in the center of our robot under uh, our rotary motor. It's this NVIDIA Jetson. I have uh, one right here. You can take a look at it. So this is a Jetson Orin NX. So this is um, runs a big old GPU that lets us do some cool load detection. So something that we knew going into the season is that really new vision was going to be a big part of this game. And it would allow us to compete with some of the California teams doing some crazy stuff like 971, Code Orange, Red. So we spent a lot of time in the off season in R&D on different co-processors and different programs to see what would work best, give us the most flexible solution to allow us to put cameras all over our robot and give us a really good field of view to see the April tags and get a really accurate pose. So right now in the robot, we're running two of these cameras. So they're basically like Arduino cams, but a little bit more durable, which is something that's really helpful because the robot gets banged around and you know sometimes <laughs> our mechanical team doesn't use drill shirts. So having cameras that are a little bit more durable helps us out a lot. Um, so these cameras, uh, are both always looking for April tags on the fields and they help us with localization and auto and also with our auto line system and recognition. Uh, this camera right here in the front is supposed to be for finding notes in auto, especially in the midline. Uh, one of the first things our programming team actually did when the season started is just get a bunch of notes and start training a model. So we trained a model using YOLO V8. So that is designed to find the notes and also maybe start uh, looking for some other robots on the field. So if we're going to the center line and we see another robot coming, we can try and dodge them for a little bit. Uh, this that has been kind of lower on our priority list. So it's not something we have running right now on our robot, but we definitely want to have by the championship. And you already have other robots to be able to do work with it and continue on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So because in the off season, uh, we actually used uh, these cameras on a robot with our Jetson and we uh, had it finding these buckets that are on the floor and it could automatically find them, pick them up, and score them. So that's really cool. Well, 1477, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Nick and Davey, for controlling the robot while uh, our interview. So thank you guys so much for walking us through your amazing robot. You guys have done so far this season. So far, I'm really excited to see how you guys perform here in DCMP. Thank you so much. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.